Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck first met on the set of Jiggly in 2002 when J. Lo was still married to her second husband, dancer Chris Judd. She and Affleck went public with their relationship soon after her divorce from Judd. And by November 2002, Benifer, as they became known in Hollywood, they became engaged. J. Lo confirmed the happy news in an interview with Diane Sawyer saying, It's the most magnificent thing I've ever seen. She also said that Affleck gave her a 6.1 carat pink diamond ring, which reportedly cost Affleck $2.5 million. Then, in July of 2003, rumors ignited that Ben visited a Vancouver strip club and Ben, who was filming Paycheck at the time, had only just appeared in an intimate Dateline interview. That night, sources alleged that he cheated on her with at least one woman and that the encounter might be on tape. However, another insider later claimed that Ben only drank water and never touched any of the strippers. Days before the two were set to officially tie the knot, they released a joint statement announcing the ceremony's postponement due to the excessive media attention surrounding the wedding. They said, we have decided to postpone the date, they explained at the time. They got separated and within a year, Ben got married to Jennifer Garner and J. Lo to Mark Anthony. Years after, J. Lo and Ben separated from their spouses, and J. Lo started dating Alex Rodriguez whom she was engaged to for four years. Lopez and Rodriguez first met at a New York Yankees game in 2005, when she was married to Mark Anthony and he was with to Cynthia Skirtis. They both started dating after divorcing their spouses in 2017 and got engaged in 2019 and were set for a summer 2020 wedding, but they had to postpone the event because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Rumors came out in early 2021 that the couple were splitting, but they the couple issued a joint statement to TMZ denying rumors that they had split up, telling the publication, all the reports are inaccurate. We are working through some things. Months later, Lopez and Rodriguez confirmed they had split and they said, they have realized they are better as friends and look forward to remaining so we will continue to work together and support each other on our shared businesses and projects. They continued by saying we wish the best for each other and one another's children, out of respect for them. The only other comment we have to say is thank you to everyone who has sent kind words and support. On the other hand, Ben split from his then-girlfriend, Ana D. Armas and Page Six reported on April 30, 2021 that the actor was photographed visiting her Los Angeles home multiple times. Sources told E! News that they really care for each other and they picked up right where they left off. Sources also said Jennifer spent several days with Ben out of town, another source added, they have a strong connection, it's all been quick and intense, but Jennifer is happy. In an exclusive video published in her personal fan newsletter, Lopez announced that she and Affleck had gotten engaged, a year after reuniting. According to People magazine, the video featured Lopez beaming as she showed off her new engagement ring and emerald cut, pale green diamond worth $5 million. Fans also quickly took to social media sharing the news and congratulating Benifer and on the other hand, 
the couple took a step in the relationship by buying a house together. According to Dirt, the 20,000-square-foot home is in Bel Air and comes with a theater, four kitchens, an infinity pool, 17 bathrooms, a wine cellar, casual and formal dining rooms, a wood-paneled office, dual showroom-style closets, and a marble bath. Apparently Ben and Jen got a deal because the home was first listed for $65 million by Texas billionaire Todd Lumpkin. Benifer have actually been house hunting since last summer when a source told Us Weekly that Ben and Jen are spending almost every night together when they're not working. They plan on moving in together very soon. And as far as Jen sees it, she and Ben have their whole lives now to set things up in a comfortable way. She intends to be an involved stepmom who's there for Ben in that area. Plus, she'll want him to make the same effort with her and Mark's kids. On the 16th of July 2022, a source close to Lopez tells CNN Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck have officially tied the knot and that the couple wed Saturday, during an intimate ceremony in Las Vegas. Jennifer Lopez also posted a dump of photos and video from her surprise wedding to Ben Affleck showing herself in her dress, and Ben in his tux, both looking amazing. She also threw up a ton of content on her website or newsletter on the JLo where she and her team have spilled all the deets about their nuptials. Jen writes, We did it. Love is beautiful. Love is kind. And it turns out love is patient. 20 years patient. She went on to explain, Exactly what we wanted. Last night, we flew to Vegas and stood in line for a license with four other couples, all making the same journey to the wedding capital of the world. Jen also explains that they barely made it to the wedding chapel in time before it closed up, and while they wanted Elvis to officiate, he was unavailable. They moved forward anyway, taking pics in front of their witnesses who appear to have been some of their respective kids. J. Lo calls their wedding a dream wedding, one they wanted long ago and ends by saying, They were right when they said, All you need is love. We are so grateful to have that in abundance, a new wonderful family of five amazing children and a life that we have never had more reason to look forward to. Wow, finally Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are married according to court records. Obtained by TMZ, the couple got a marriage license in Clark County, NV, which was taken out and processed on Saturday, July 16. This is a typical love story and I will urge you to drop your comment telling us what you think about this wonderful couple and their marriage. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and turn on the notification button.